Hi, this is Charles Butler, host of the Reality Check with Charles Butler, airing every day, Monday through Friday, on, Real on uh, Genesis Communication Network, GCNlive.com, where we're on about 40 stations. So tune in and either download the show uh, in a podcast format from, this, from the uh, website or check out my Facebook at Charles Butler Conservative or my Twitter at Charles Butler 52. This uh, afternoon, I'm going to talk a little bit about these polls because I think it's important that we kind of look at them, not as fact, but kind of get a barometer. And you really can't because I can tell you right now, I was all over Brexit. I called Brexit right. I said the people of Britain were going to leave the EU because they wanted more control of their sovereignty. They didn't want Brussels telling them what to do. They were tired of immigrants coming to their country. And they were tired of jobs being lost uh, because of the establishment. The same issues we have here. Hillary, Donald, doesn't make any difference. Hillary stands for the status quo, the, the elite, whether it's Republican or Democrat. Donald stands for the people. That's the big difference, the people. And that's why establishment Republicans are running from him, because they know that he is going to bring about change, real change. And I'm not just saying that. I always have believed that, and I always called Donald Trump to be the nominee since uh, last June when he announced uh, in Colorado now, uh, it said uh, the Quinny Impact poll says that Clinton's up by eight. Quinny Impact uh, says Florida Clinton's up by four. But this is a, a poll that I put a lot of credence into, and, and others do too. It's a poll that needs to be watched. It's the L.A. Times USC tracking poll, and it has Trump up by one. It's consistently had Trump up by one, or two, or three, the last uh, four or five, the last three or four months. So, uh, you know, you'd look at Ohio and Quinny Impact. They said that uh, Trump and uh, Hillary are tied at uh, 45 apiece, followed by Johnson with six, Stein by, with one. Pennsylvania, Hillary's supposed to be ahead by six. I don't know how those people can vote for her since she wants to put the coal industry out of business. And people don't understand that Pittsburgh and uh, Philadelphia are not the only cities in PA. You have a lot of coal that comes out of PA just like the other uh, states in that region. In Utah now, Trump's up by one. Last week he was down by three. You know, that's, it's just too close to call. With all of these adverse things that have taken place, uh, Trump is still in the mix, which I find very interesting. And uh, I'm glad that uh, the American people have stepped up and said, enough is enough, we're not going to let these people take over. In fact... Uh, when I looked at the New York Times uh, this afternoon before I decided to do this video, there's a lady who is breaking with uh, the evangelicals, the, ev the ev ev el evangelicals. She, um, her name is, uh, come on, her name is Jen Hatmeyer, and she speaks to stadiums full of Christian women. And she regales them with stories about her five children, her garden, back in Austin, Texas. Austin's a beautiful city. Love Austin. Love to live there one day. And she stays away from po politics. But recently, she took to Facebook and Instagram to blast Donald Trump as a national disgrace and remind her legions of followers that there are other names on the ballot. No, there are not. There are only two names on the ballot, Hillary Clinton and Ron uh, Donald Trump. Those, that's it. Uh, Johnson and uh, Stein, not even in the mix. And for this woman, this homemaker, and this mother to think that she knows anything about politics or the implications that having Hillary Clinton as president would, would, would happen in this country, would make in this country, it's just unconscionable. Go back to doing what you do best, Miss Hatmaker. Talk to women about issues that make them feel good. Talk about mommy issues. Talk about being a good wife, a good mother, a good citizen, and all of that stuff. That's what you're best at. Please stay out of politics. We cannot allow Hillary Clinton to take the White House or the Clintons, period. You know, you want to rag on Donald Trump, but you don't want to rag on Hillary Clinton? I have problems with these so-called evangel evangel evangelical Christians. You know, the evangelical movement was started by a black man. I know, I know. Jack Daniels, founded by a black man. Well, it was. Look up the uh, 
the history of Jack Daniels. Now they've acknowledged that it was a black man's recipe that they used to produce Jack Daniels. My favorite drink, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, Miss Hathaway, I tell you, oh, Lord. But um, Liberty University, I hope those students there see the light. And they say they're voting for Donald Trump. The university's president is backing Donald Trump. I hope that the students do, too. I hope that everyone backs Donald Trump. That's, that's my prayer. We cannot turn this country over to the Clintons again. Um, you know, the, um, I want to get back to a topic uh, that is, uh, is happening right now, and that's the battle for Mosul. That's a city that the Marines and the Army spent a lot of blood, shed a lot of blood taking that city, and Barack gave it back without so much as a whimper. This Everyone forgets that what Barack Obama said to President Medved, you are talking about the strength of the Russian people and the Russian, uh, you know, being a superpower. He said to Medved, in an open mic situation, tell Vladimir to, to, to wait until after the election. I'll have more flexibility. Flexibility to do what? To make Russia a superpower? To allow Putin to take the Ukraine? You know, nothing's done, folks. Nothing's done without planning and thoughtfulness. And if, I don't believe for one iota that Barack Obama... Uh, doesn't know what he's doing. I think he knows exactly what he's doing, which is turning America into a paper tiger, which has turned America into a paper tiger. Well, you know, I usually try to keep these to five minutes or less, but I'm running a little long today. But uh, I'd like to say uh, Godspeed to those civilians in Mosul and those young men over there who need to pick up weapons and fight for their own freedom instead of running over here and getting a handout. I'm all for refugees, but putting refugees and leaving them in their own country. We don't need any more over here. We don't need any more immigrants over here. Anyway. Hey, look. Uh, tune in the show. GCNlive.com. We'll be there doing our thing every morning, Monday through Friday, uh, 8 to 10 a.m. Eastern. Thanks.